Hey guys and welcome to this video and in this video we are going to learn about how does the Kotlin multi-platform work. The Kotlin multi-platform feature is very promising and in this video we are going to learn how does it work. And I believe that when we know how it works we can get the most out of it. And I love investing my time in learning these things the hard way and then sharing them with all of you. So let's get started. So when I say that Kotlin multi-platform is very promising, there is a strong reason behind it. Kotlin multi-platform let us reuse the business logic and does not impose any restriction on how we build the app UI. So the appearance, behavior and the most importantly, the performance all remains native and the native UI helps us in providing the best user experience to the customers. So when we consider the Kotlin multi-platform for both the platform iOS and the Android, we write the business logic once that runs on both the platform. So now it's time to learn how does it work. So here first we write the shared code in Kotlin. For Android, it gets converted to Java bytecode that can be executed in the JVM. So Android already has a virtual machine that is easily capable of running it. But what about iOS? How can it run Kotlin? Can we do it without the virtual machine? For iOS, Kotlin code must be converted to the source code. Here, what I mean by the source code? The native code that is executable on the iOS devices. So for iOS, the Kotlin code must be converted to the source code, which is executable on the iOS that goes inside the framework. That source code works on iOS. So the next question is, how does the Kotlin code get converted to the source code that is capable of running on iOS? This we have to understand in this video. Here comes the compiler into the picture. It has two parts as follows, the front end and the back end. So first let's learn about the front end. So basically here the front end converts the Kotlin code into the IR. IR is intermediate representation. And then that IR is capable of getting converted into the native code that is machine executable using the back end, which we will learn now. So. Here we will use both front-end and the back-end. Front-end will convert the Kotlin code into the IR and then IR will get converted to the native code that is machine executable using the back-end. So the back-end converts the IR into the native code that is machine executable. And this is possible because of Kotlin native infrastructure built by JetBrains. And for Android, it converts the IR to the Java bytecode and for the iOS, it converts the IR to the iOS native machine executable code. So now we have learned what does the front end do and what does the back end do. But here we have encountered a term Kotlin native infrastructure. We need to know about it. And it is very important to note that we are able to write the shared business logic in Kotlin and then we are able to run it on the iOS device without any virtual machine. So now we were about to learn Kotlin native infrastructure which is used in the backend to convert the IR into the machine executable code. So let's learn about it. So when we go through the official documentation, we will see like this. Kotlin native is an LLVM backend for the Kotlin compiler, runtime implementation and native code generation facility using the LLVM toolchain. Kotlin native is primarily designed to allow compilations for platforms where the virtual machines are not desirable or possible such as iOS or embedded targets or where a developer is willing to produce a reasonably sized self-contained program without the need to ship an additional execution runtime. So now we know that Kotlin native is LLVM. So now the next question arises in our mind is that what is this LLVM? So LLVM is a very generic term. We can say that LLVM is a library for programmatically creating the machine code from intermediate representation IR. We first create the IR which is needed by the LLVM and then LLVM does its magic. So basically front end and the back end. Front end converts the code written by us into the IR and then back end uses the Kotlin native which is the LLVM converts the IR to the machine executable code and this is how the Kotlin multi-platform work. So here is the summary Kotlin native to the IR and IR to the machine executable native code. 
फर्स्ट कन्वर्जन इज डन बाई द फ्रंट एंड एंड द सेकेंड कन्वर्जन इज डन बाई द बैक एंड एंड इन बैक एंड वी नो दैट इट यूज द कॉटलिन नेटिव विच इज अल एल वी एम राइट सो दिस इज हाउ द कॉटलिन मल्टी प्लेटफॉर्म वर्क सो नाउ वी नो हाउ डज द कॉटलिन मल्टी प्लेटफॉर्म वर्क एंड आई होप यू हैव लर्न अ लॉट फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो सो प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड ऑल्सो लेट मी नो इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन ऑन विच टॉपिक यू वॉन्ट मी टू क्रिएट माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो